Okay guys, this is part three of my necklace collection. We got um, cut off earlier as I was um, showing you my um, pearl, fall pearl um, collection. So this is a um, swirly, swirly type of semi parure. It has a pair of earrings and um, this is unsigned. It is very beautiful. It's very shiny. It's, um, it's unsigned and it has that um, very pastel-like um, enameling. It's beautiful. It's very, very smooth and um, shiny. Okay, next is this necklace. This necklace is a pink, pink beaded, um, it feels very, um, feels ceramic. It doesn't feel like it's plastic. I could be but the look of it it looks more um looks like it's a stone but it's actually not it's it's pink light uh pink though this one is a double double strand necklace and um this is signed i think it's japan it's very long and um, this is very long and um, as you can see it has it has pink and um, light pink uh, for for pearls i just got that and this one i was showing you earlier more of my um four pearls Hey guys, sorry for the noise because I'm trying to untangle these pieces and um, oh dear, what happened to them? <laughs> okay, next would be, all right, that means I hope I don't get, um, ah, all right. Okay guys, I can't take, I can't untangle them at the moment. This is by Angie Wooderham. It's it's like a, a bone, light bone thing. <laughs> light bone ivory thing going on here. And this one is not vintage. I got this from my aunt. I call this my fruit salad. And this is from, I believe, Banana Republic or Jayco. It's pretty, pretty. Very pretty. This one is another vintage piece, Japan. You can see that. As you can see, it's like the, the Japanese pottery. Okay, next would be a new um, acquisition. Well, it's not that newish, but uh, like a few months back. This is a made in India long necklace. This is new. So it has different stones, materials vary. I love it. It's just very, you can see that? It's like anything goes. Different stones, dif different uh, materials. Look at that, very, very cold to the touch. Yeah. Next is one of my favorites, this ancient carved bone necklace. And I call it my dum-dum, my dum-dum necklace. It's very very pretty <laughs> it's beautiful and um yeah i love wearing this i i actually wore that when i went to see the mayan ruins just this uh like th two weeks ago i had i went to see the mayan ruins at chachoban and um in costa maya mexico and um yeah i love it look at that very very ethnic and it's very cold to the touch. For some reason, I love that. And this one is a, um, I'm not sure if those are, that's onyx, but it's 925 silver. And um, these have rough edges though. Look at that. I don't know if the seed, the black seeds there are like onyx could be, but it's very, very cold. And um, this one, the crystal and the one, this was 925. 
next is my pastel colored three strand bracelet i just love that <laughs> it's very very pretty and look at the closure yeah it's pretty next is this it's another like rice seed um pearl type of necklace and this one is also one of my favorites it's pastel colored again i love it that and i have another one over here and this is yellow yellowish um plastic lucite i don't know but um i love the color the color this one is not vintage it's a Vivian Vivian Westwood inspired necklace. <laughs> I bought it and it's so fake. This one is very pretty. Two strand. I love the color, guys. And look at that. Look at the closure. It's so cute. see mm. it's beautiful it's not signed but it's the closure just got me next is this this is a like a twisted seed pearl whatever you call that it's it's really really very very pretty and it has a barrel or magnetic strap magnetic closure look at that It's very very cold to the touch so there are just some pieces here that i have kept although i have not even uh, worn any of most of these okay next is i'm still i still don't know what this material is it looks very christmasy and uh it's graduated uh beads and it it the texture is very silky guys it has that um batik we call it like spotted thingy but it's very very it's very christmasy and it's very old this is beautiful again i love the closure it's two tone look at that and the closure is supposed to go in the back of your neck right but i think i'm gonna put it in front when i wear it it's two tone it's a by japan and it's um green and um pearl like thing <laughs> this one is glass it's blue it's very bluish and it's very cold to the touch and yeah look at the closure it's very very pretty okay and i have another one i just uh did a diy on this one <laughs> okay this i just um this is beautiful it looks like seaweed guys it's very very light very very light i don't know what material this is but at some point they became very popular it's like embroidery um i saw something being sold in mexico they were like $100, $150 for these kind of, uh, you know, they said that it's not going to get, um, it's not going to fray at all. Okay, so I got this from the pile of $5 bag because, yeah, and what I did was um, it did not have a closure. So I just got one of my, my hooks there and then I just, yeah. I just added it although it's in the hook actually snap is in silver i really don't care it's gonna go in the back anyway it just it's beautiful it's very very um light another one is um oh geez oh. this is very light and um 
Yeah, it's pink. And it's pink. Next is... Oh, I wonder why I did not feature this earlier. Um, this is another... Um, this is a necklace. It's a long necklace. Oh, no, no. It's not a long necklace. This is a part of a set. It's called Imperial. Royal Imperial thing. Cameo. So it has a bracelet and a pair of earrings as well. And I have this. Um, yeah. I think this, this is... These are not real pearls, although I thought at first they were. <laughs> These are not real pearls. Um, for some reason, every time I wear these kinds of sticky or pokey thing here, it, they just poke me and it comes becomes very, very uncomfortable wearing them. So um, I, I'm not really, really impressed with uh, this kind of material. Like, uh, which one of the... One of them poked me as well, the, the, the black seeded thing that I, I've i shown you earlier. Yeah. I also have other necklace, necklaces here. So I tried to divide this into three. Okay, this one is red, red enamel as well. And then um, I have a lot more guys, but um, those are, I think, um, we'll, we'll stop from here um, because uh, this is part three already. So this is mostly my vintage um, necklace collection and some new ones that were included that were not supposed to. So there you go, guys. Okay, bye.